Yo, what's up guys? Today we're changing up the locations. No longer in London, we're in the north of England, which is Newcastle. I've come here to catch up with a couple of friends. Of course, since I've just touched down, first things first, we're going to do a bit of training. I'm going to start off the weekend with a bit of chest and back with my old housemate, my old pal, best friend, ex-training partner, Brad Tarrant. <laughs> So today's session was a mixture of chest and back. We were supersetting a pushing movement with a pulling movement. Worked very well and was ideal really because we were quite strapped for time so had to fit everything in within around 50 minutes or so. Started off with the incline dumbbell press. The reason why we started with incline dumbbell press is because it's one of the areas I want to work upon. I feel as though my lower chest is doing a okay. Upper chest needs a bit of work. So did that whilst we were fresh, feeling strong and then superset that with an incline bench, double arm, dumbbell row. Go on, son. The tectonic plates. Yeah, boy, go on, keep going. Easy. Yes, yes. Super, supers. Go on then. Finish them. <laughs> Nailing the protraction and retraction of the shoulder blade. Look at the back. Squeeze. Yes. So the next exercise we went on to was a flat barbell bench press, supersetted with a bent over row, supinated grip. Good. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Good checkers. Go on. Two more. One more. Get him. Boom. So we do it, folks. <clears throat> this is gonna be the challenge. Go on then. You've got it, easy. One, two, three, four, five, get him. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more. 10, very good, mate. What a set. What a set from the man. The next exercise we went on to was the standing cable flies supersetted with the bent over rear delt dumbbell fly. Get it. Ooh. Ooh. Go on. Finish them. Get savage pump when I have a rest of the Go on. Front double bicep. What a pumpy bastard. Easy. And then we finished off with 
the standing lat pull downs with the cable supersetted with an incline dumbbell fly and to mix it up a little bit this time around I was doing a pronated grip a lot of the time when I've done dumbbell flies I do do a neutral grip I do find that my ability to get a contraction in my upper chest is improved with a pronated grip but I guess it's really each to their own and I probably do recommend mixing it up from time to time Squeeze. Go on, big back. Finish them first. Boom. Stench. He's fucking falling off his bike. Alright, kid. That was easy, that. You're tough, aren't you? You're tough. That's alright, isn't it, mate? Nothing wrong with that. Squeeze. Video and bro. He's a beast. He's a beast. Yeah, boy. So there we go, guys. That is the session. A bit of chest and back action for you. I did superset the exercises because I was short on time, but it was still very effective. Now, this split was one I used to do quite a lot back in the day. So one day would be the horizontal push pull, chest and back. The next day would be vertical push pull, which was shoulders and lats. Another day was arms, and another day was legs. And this was really good because at that point in time, my back was my weak area and I really did need to spend a lot of time bringing it up so it looked in proportion with everything else. And since obviously my chest, not really a weak point for me, so I only really need to hit it up once a week and not spend a full session doing it. So very good split, worth checking out. I'll probably do the rest of the workouts on other videos to come. We shall see. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in a bit.